morning sunshine. It sounds like he's peeing in the back. Damn. He just went for a run, which is why he's shirtless, even though he's always shirtless. Whatever. Point is, we got a package. I think, if this isn't what I think it is, it'll be disappointing. I think it's my new camera. I was inspired by my bestie, Simmons, who texted me and said there was a new camera on the market, which is straight ideas back and forth, you know, about these things. It is my new camera. It's in this box. Sorry, I'm being an ADD brain right now. I'm not speaking very focusedly. Tonight I wanna celebrate. Tonight I wanna dream away. See the shimmer in the eyes. new camera it's a sony i've been a canon girl for a hot minute so i'm very interested to see if i like this camera kind of excited though mostly excited because the mic is supposed to be a lot better it's more made for vlogging so it has a lot of like image stabilization and it has a skin smoothing feature which i'm not gonna lie it might be nice sometimes Maybe I'll just, I don't know. it also comes with this handle bar thingy which i think is cool because when you're holding it you can um start recording and stop recording but it also works when it's not attached to the camera because it's Bluetooth. So if you wanted to like start recording and stop recording like from over here, I could do that, which I think is cool. Can I help you? Here we are, opening the box. There's little flufferoo. This is like to you know, cancel out wind noise and stuff, you know? And then we have the compact Sony camera. I'm very interested in this because or in one part of this because the camera goes out like this while my Canon camera flips up. I have heard the negative is that it doesn't come with the battery charger. You have to just plug the whole thing into the wall, which can be a drawback. But I actually, if this is the same battery as the old Sony, I already have extra batteries and chargers for it because for some reason I kept those around. Excellent. Easy unboxing. This one's like um a tighter zoom, I feel. Right? Mm -hmm. Or is it just because I'm holding it? I feel like right now, I think my Canon's on full auto. And the color on this one looks way better. This one looks like too cool toned. Interesting. Nice. Ooh. Oh, and we have to check the sound quality. So we can put them side by side and see if the sound quality is better on the Sony or the Canon. It's definitely tighter framed on this one, like way tighter. You're moving so much, baby. <laughs> Not He's not used to the vlogging life, you know what I'm saying? Can we zoom it out? Is that is that literally like that is the zoom range? Wow. That's so you always have to have your arm fully extended. Mm-hmm. Otherwise I'd be like up here. You guys are gonna see me a lot closer now. <laughs> so the Canon microphone has these three little dots, right? You, you look really pretty. For their mic, thanks to <laughs> This mic though, it's cool because it's like the whole strip and then it's supposed to be omnidirectional, so it will be able to pick up like Teddy talking in the background and me talking in the front. So they could hear I that? I think. I mean, you look really thing. shitty. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> it's more made for vlogging or video recording as opposed to a normal point and shoot, which is made for photos. But we just like force it for videos because it looks nicer. Yeah, you look good. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign Got the energy 
Jeter winning my neck, I'm feeling great Got a date with destiny, focusing on my fate I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake I'm everything that they ain't, it can't be, it won't be Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave Coming from the block with plain clothes and police Straight up to the top with bankrolls and rollies Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky. Alright, vlogging on the Sony. We're gonna see what it's like out Hi and about. There. And I wanna test some of the features of it. Like they have a slow-mo feature and a background blur feature that is not present on the Canon. We're seeing how it deals with lighting changes right now, which I'm not unhappy with. Yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a bit, but that's what we're doing at the moment. Right, got a couple coffees from this place. I've never had a dirty chai before, but also we don't know if we have the correct beverage. I forgot I'm not being on your vlogs anymore. Babe, you better not. <laughs> you didn't even do this part! This is not fun. <laughs> this is probably the last one you'll see me in. <laughs> because of the gingerbread. People don't forget. People don't forget. <laughs> Cheers. You might have the wrong one. Is this one. mine and yours? This is yours. Mm -mm. I think so. That one smells like dairy. Yeah, you're right. It tastes good? dirty. <laughs> Pretty backdrop. <laughs> if Teddy buildings. lays down completely. <laughs> and also, macarons. macarons. One macaron, two macarons. I'm not, I don't know what it is about them. I, I, I just, I feel like they look soft and they're not and I don't like that. The flavors were like... Really weird. Blood orange. Blood orange with Earl Grey. Earl, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. one was, this one I think was lavender. I love this. What? <laughs> Thank you. See that, babe? Mm hmm. There's a soccer ball and I kicked it. Moves. That was the best thing ever. <laughs> I heard someone say that was the best pass they've ever seen. I didn't hear it with that. Whoa. This one has, like, on the inside. It's on, it focuses on people priority. I can switch the focus to where it'll focus on anything. Mm. But then it switches constantly. You don't like these? They're okay. They just taste like sugar. Yeah. They don't really taste like anything. I prefer chocolate. So we're here at the park. We came here just because we knew it would be nice outside. It's a really nice day today. It's 75 degrees. Everyone's socially distanced. Everyone's wearing masks. If we get close to each other, walking up, everyone had their stuff on. So I feel good about it. This is mine. And now I figured we could try the settings on this camera. I really want to try the background focus one. You can see the city in the background, right? And there's like a button on here that you press. This background defocus. Did you guys see that? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put it back on. Clear. Okay, look at the background. And then defocus. Oh, yeah, look at that. It is, right? Mm hmm. Look at you. <laughs> but yeah, that's a very cool feature that I think this camera does. And then I do prefer the light and color on Canons, I just think they're prettier. But I think this one has too many other positives that outweigh that I'll probably stick to my Sony and have my Canon as like a backup. So the Sony one thing that Teddy and I decided we didn't love about it is that the flip screen comes out but it comes out on the side and I kind of prefer it on the top. I think it's obvious that I'm looking at myself when I look over here but when I look like at the top it's not as obvious and I do like the color better but that's it. It's warm. But the lighting is better on this one. And this one does low light a lot better too. We'll be able to show you a little later. Okay, so like another feature on the camera is um, you can- <laughs> You come down here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can register products over faces, right? So what that means is like if I'm trying to show you this coffee, it should, look how it focuses on the coffee. Yeah. Wow. Remember my Canon, how it never focuses on anything? I just tried to do that with the macaroon though. Exactly, well no, because I just turned it on. Oh, okay, so it's you on can, now. You can face recognition priority where it does faces and it always prioritizes that, which I think is good if you're like accidentally having things in the foreground a lot. So if I want to show you this cute logo, 
<gasps> Look at Pokey's. God, that, the fact that that's so exciting is just sad because that's how like sad my canon was. I would put something up there and I'd be like, please focus, please handy. focus, please. It, yeah, it'll do anything in the forefront. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? It is wild. Jeez. It's so exciting. Did you eat both of them? I just, uh, wanna, I just wanna make sure I'm not like putting my elbow on them. Yeah, I don't, I don't like them. <laughs> They were really good. Highly <laughs> uh, like was I not supposed Highly to? recommend the macaroons from Manana Coffee. Did you trade our coffees? Nope. Are you sure? If I drink your dairy one, I'm gonna be upset. No, I put it back on. I can have dairy, it just makes my stomach hurt. Well, maybe I shouldn't have dairy. <laughs> <laughs> she just gets really bad gas. What? I'm glad to see we're on that level of our relationship. I've never ever <laughs> had gas in front of me. We're getting there. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> True <Yeah>. intimacy right there. <laughs> he pees with the door open. <laughs> I don't like it. It's normal. <laughs> I wish we could just like borrow doggos like for an afternoon or something, you know? I'm not gonna take the responsibility of one mm -hmm. for the next Same with the child, 10 to the 15 child. years. I, wish we just I don't wanna child. borrow children, <laughs> no. <laughs> I would borrow a doggo, I would not borrow a child. So there's a guy jamming out in the background and we're trying to decipher if it's like going to be way too much or not. He does this a lot. Pretty much every time I try to sit down and do a sit down video. So there's that. Perfect. Cool. Please excuse the electric guitar in the background. My neighbor across the street actually has frequent jam sessions and I can't avoid them. So there's that. But I thought I would take a minute and just answer a few of y'all's questions that you asked me on my Instagram prompt where I asked if you had any questions about the cameras or vlogging in this post. I just thought I'd share that with you. It's kind of cool. Let me know if you have any questions about vlog camera type stuff and I'll try to include it in the video. There's a bunch of questions that ask if I have a different microphone or something for the top of the camera. There's like a little fluffy thing on top of it that actually comes with the camera. It's just like a wind muffler kind of thing and it comes with it. So it's not like an extra mic or anything else. It just goes right on top of the mic that's built into the camera to muffle like wind noise and whatnot, which I think is really cool. But I had a ton of questions on what mic I had attached or what is the fluffy thing. That's what it is. It looks like this. It's very fluffy. I think I still have it on the setting. Well, maybe it's not. It didn't work. <gasps> okay, here's the fluffy thing. I had to turn it off intelligent auto. It's still doing it. Okay, well now it is. I don't know. Here's the fluffy thing. <laughs> How do you go about editing videos? That's why I've never started a channel. When I first started editing, I used iMovie at first. It's like a good super intro. I think it's free if you have a Mac or anything like that. And then I used Final Cut Pro, which does cost some money, but that one's a really good beginner editor software if you have a Mac. I know I have a video editor, Sergio, and he uses Sony Vegas. I have no idea what that is, but I've asked him before and that's what he uses. So you can maybe look into that, especially if you don't have a Mac. I know that's like more Windows friendly or whatever. But when you first start, you can really do a lot of just like more minimal edits with iMovie or Final Cut Pro for sure, from my experience. What tripod do you use for workout vids? I have a tripod that I got off of Amazon and it's a very um, super adjustable one and I'll try to remember to link it down below. I would show you, but my camera's on it right now. So I'm not going to right this second. Actually, I guess I could. I like it because you can just detach it right off the thing. It's still screwed in, but I just detach it. And then give me a ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is uh, yeah, my little setup. And I have a ring light right there. I find the lighting works better if you point it at the wall, it's less direct. And obnoxious that way. That's how I light my Twitch streams as well. If you're going about and you're a new vlogger and you're editing videos and you're looking for music to be able to use, YouTube's very strict on um, obviously copyrighted music. So I get my music from Epidemic Sounds. Um, if you go there, you can get a membership and they have so many options. You can do stuff with vocals, without vocals. Um, they have a ton, ton, ton of stuff. You can like search by genre and mood and everything else. And then YouTube music has free music options too. There is a lot out there for non-copyrighted music, so don't be deterred by that. But that's the music that I use. Someone asked for any less expensive options or what's like a good beginner camera. When I first started vlogging, I used my iPhone and I think I had an iPhone 
like six at the time it wasn't the best but it works fine like in the beginning especially if you're just practicing everything else i'll even use my iphone for clips now still if it's like the only thing i have in my pocket so i wouldn't let that deter you i'm sure there are things that are not iphones that are phones that are good but i don't have any experience with those so I'm not sure, but I'm not really sure of any less expensive options. I use the Canon G7X Mark II, which is their previous version because I heard weird things about the Mark III. So I know that one's a little less expensive, but it is still on the pricier side. I think it's like $500. So they are more expensive. This is like kind of, I guess not a super beginner, beginner camera, but like the next step up, like intermediate, I don't know. These are the cameras that I would recommend personally. I've been using the Canon G7X for literally years. Oh, Max just tried to jump on the table and missed. Are you okay, buddy? Um, someone asked, why don't I use a DSLR? Uh, I do have, I have a Canon 6D Mark II or Mark, I don't know, something like that. And I have it, I use it for my Twitch streams at the moment. I attach it to my computer to make it a webcam with a thing called an Elgato Cam Link. And I do love it. However, it's just so big and bulky. It is what I would use if I wanted like an interchangeable lens and I wanted just like higher quality, but I find for like day-to-day -day vlogging that the smaller handheld candle, or candles, <laughs> cameras are just so much more um, convenient and I'm just more likely to pick it up and actually use it if it's smaller and easy to grab. And it's less obnoxious in public too if you're trying to vlog while out and about. So I prefer the smaller like point and shoot cameras that don't have interchangeable lenses, but they're definitely smaller options where you can still change the lenses, but I don't have as much experience with those, so I'm not sure. Okay, hopefully that helped. That's the majority of like the questions I got the same questions kind of over and over again, but hopefully that was good advice. That's what I got for you. Happy vlogging. All right, YouTube slash vlogmas. I think that's gonna conclude our video, our review and comparison on the Sony and the Canon cameras. And I'm still looking at the screen on the right. I didn't look up. Yeah. It's hard, when I. It's new. It's new, okay? Max says, happy vlogmas. Make sure you like the video. Don't forget, thumbs it up. Subscribe if you have not already. And we'll see you in the next vlogmas. Mm -hmm. What do we say? Merry vlogmas. No. See ya, bitches. Ta -ta. Bye. That's not going to be our new sign-off. <laughs> Ta-ta for now. Bye.